Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to practice some difficult pronunciation, so let's get started. But first, let me explain this cut on my head. We lost power, we lost electricity for five days, and I walked into a wall. But I'm okay, I'll survive. So now let's talk about English. Let's look at these three words shudder, shudder, and shatter. They're pronounced differently, and they mean different things. Let's take a closer look. First, let's look at these two words, shudder and shudder. These two words are pronounced exactly the same, but they mean different things. First, let's talk about this shudder. This shudder is a verb, and it means to tremble convulsively, especially in fear, like this. That is to shudder. Pronunciation. You see the letter U before a double consonant, it makes a short sound, uh, uh. That's a relaxed, closed sound, uh, uh, sh shudder. And the double D makes a fast D sound. Da, 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 shudder, shudder. And the ER at the end makes the er sound, like burger. Er. Together, shudder. I shudder to think. I see you as a young Meg Ryan, my son. Well, I shudder to think what the vice president of the astronomy club would call danger. Sometimes a boar will shudder and then settle back again, Junie. I shudder to think of it. I'm sorry, I was just curious. If I change the verb in the past, I put ed, and I pronounce it like this. Shuddered. Shuddered. With a D sound at the end. Shuddered. You listen to me, scumbucket. That horse shuddered me. These are the winning numbers. They're going... He bit my lips hard, and my whole body shuddered. Example. He shuddered in horror. He shuddered in horror when he saw the snake. He shuddered in horror when he saw the snake, because he's scared of snakes. Let's practice. Did he shudder in horror when he saw the snake? That's right, he shuddered in horror when he saw the snake. Now let's look at this word shudder. It's pronounced exactly the same, but it's spelled differently. It has a double T, but it makes the same sound, the fast D sound. Sh, shudder, shudder. Shudder is a noun. There are different kinds of shutters. There's a shutter inside a camera because it opens and closes. It's called a shutter because it closes. It's called a shutter because it comes from the word shut. Shut is a verb meaning close. It's the same as close. Because it opens and closes, we call it a shutter. But more common shutters are these. These are shutters. They're called shutters because a long time ago, you would open and shut them. Here, I'll close the shutters. No. Because of this ward, the shutters are open and they will stay open. Let him have a little. Oh, well, I am. The uh, shutters are still closed. There are intruders. If they're coming for you, they have to open the shutters to get into you. That would be. The shutters are all closing. Adam, away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up a sash. Now most shutters are just for decoration, but a long time ago, you could open and shut them. So they're called shutters. Look, the house has shutters. I think the house looks better with shutters. What do you think? Do you think the house looks better with shutters? Very good. I think the house looks better with shutters. But they're just for decoration. You can't shut them. Now let's talk about this word. Shatter. We see the letter A making the short A ah sound like black cat. Sha. Shatter. To make the sound A, ah, put the tongue down in the front behind your teeth and then up in the back. A, ah, A, ah, Sha. Shatter. Don't do it too much, not Sha. Sha. Shatter. Shatter is a verb. It means to break into many pieces, especially when talking about glass. And we see the fast D sound again, with a double T making the fast D sound. Shatter, shatter. It's a verb that means to break into many pieces, especially when talking about glass. He'll write a review so devastating it will shatter your career. Look, it could shatter at any moment, even right now. Forget about racing. No one has the power to shatter your dreams unless you give it to them. That thing will shatter your arm. You even shatter the sensations of time and space into split seconds and instant replays. You know, I hate to shatter your delusions, but I am perfectly capable of doing my job. If I change the verb to past, shattered, you hear a 
you hear a D sound at the end. Da -da -da. Shattered. Last year, that piece was shattered by a brutal crime. I guess the earth shattered. In a few brief moments, the joy of the holidays was shattered and the world changed for many people. With as much dignity as he could muster, the old man gathered up the sad remains of his shattered major award. Eleanor was shattered. Example. I dropped my phone and the screen shattered. It broke into many pieces, so I can use the verb shatter in the past. I dropped my cell phone and the screen shattered. Let's practice. Did he drop his cell phone? That's right, he dropped his cell phone. Did the screen shatter? That's right, the screen shattered. He'll have to replace it. So remember these three words. Shutter and shutter are pronounced the same. But shatter makes a different sound because the vowel is a short a ah sound. Again, shutter, shutter, and shatter. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.